So I get the question often, do I have to pay my audit for my workers' compensation or just my business insurance here in Illinois? And the answer is, yep. That's basically it. You can skip the rest of the video and that's what you have. Now, really, this is a question that can leave anybody kind of scratching your head. So uh, if you don't know, my name is Patrick McBride. I'm the agency owner and the founder here at the McBride Agency. And today, I really want to jump into this and kind of break it down a little bit more for you. So uh, let's kind of clear up the fog. So first off, what actually is an audit? So an audit is basically a review of your insurance policies to make sure that the premiums you're paying actually match the actual risk. Your premiums are essentially an estimate based on uh, your reported revenues and your reported payrolls. When that estimate at the end of that policy term is audited, you could see a reduction in premium or a credit back on your policy, or you could see an audit with you having to pay back in because you were underfunded or underestimated. So that's why we have these audits here in Illinois. It helps keep things legal and fair, and it makes sure that everybody is doing everything that they're supposed to to make sure that the insurance company stays solvent to pay your claims, right? A lot of employers think it's some kind of a punishment. It really isn't. It actually protects everybody keeping everything above board. So again, back to that question, do I have to pay my audit for my business insurance or my work comp here in Illinois? The answer is a little bit of yes and a little bit of no. So if you're stuck around this long, let me kind of break this down. Uh, if an audit finds out your payroll has been underreported, yes, absolutely need to pay the difference. But somehow if you've overpaid, like I said, you actually can get a refund or have a credit towards those future premiums. So Illinois law says you have got to settle the balances promptly and compliantly. Now I've seen carriers say, nope, you've got 30 days. I've seen carriers give four or five months, depending on how large that audit is. So one of the things you might be wondering is how do I prep for an audit or what do I need to make sure that my audit is or that I'm always audit ready? So here are the four things that I would tell you. Number one, keep your payroll records accurate and up to date. Make sure your employees are classified correctly with the right workers called class dates inside your accounting software. Uh, document any subcontractor. Make sure you have all the uh, subcontractor agreements signed as well as the COIs. And of course, always chat with your insurance agent and ask for any guidance. Uh, make sure you're doing mid-year reviews with them as well. So what happens if I ignore this payment? This is the question that we get. It's not a good idea. Uh, not only could you face penalties or fines, you actually could face legal action. You have the, uh, the carry has the potential to not renew or cancel your policies at renewal. And that's a huge risk because you might not actually be able to get coverage with another carrier in the future. So the, uh, essentially just kind of to wrap this up here, right? Uh, audits happen every year, usually three to five months after the policy period ends. And you're going to need your payroll, your tax records, uh, subcontracting details, right? Uh, if there's a dispute, talk to your insurance agent. They're going to help you sort this out. They are a middleman. They're not the person performing the audit, but they can help. Bottom line, pay attention to the work comp audits. Pay attention to those audit documents. Stay compliant. Keep the records. That's it, right? I'm Patrick here at the McBride Agency. Until next time, stay savvy and keep rocking that business.